What's up, everybody? This is Oliver Churches speaking, also known as Oliver Sparkle. Now, in the title of this video, this is what we call like a blog or something, because well, I literally just call it a blog, and this is going to be an unscripted blog. So expect a few ums and mistakes that I'm not really going to be editing out, because just can't be bothered at the moment. So as you can see from the title, it clearly says. Why I left Equestria Girls. So, yeah, about a few months ago or something, or last year, maybe, don't know. I literally left the Equestria Girls fandom. And I have possible reasons for that. It's because I'm getting sick and tired of the way they're still treating Sunset Shimmer. I mean, yeah, sure, she was a meanie at first in the first movie. But she's changed it now. There's no point to keep going on and 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 on about what she did and probably think she's still evil. Sorry, Norma. And and few fans that won't leave and leave her alone that continue to go on about what she did, what she did wrong, even though they don't even understand the kind of weakness that she has, that I have as well. Please leave Sunset Shimmer alone. And another reason for that is, there was the fourth special that came out in 2018, called Forgotten Friendship, where this stupid student that came out of no... Well, thanks to the silly writers, a student called Wallflower Blesh, who clearly got bullied by Sunset Shem a long time ago, and she just, she's basically just like a copycat of Fluttershy, or shy, don't know what to say, and because she's now jealous of how Sunset Shem has a lot of friends, and clearly she still thinks she's a bad guy. <sighs> Honestly. Did save in the score two times before going to camp ever free. It's proven nothing. And when she discovered the memory stone, she really saw the tapes of the good sons of Shimmer memories stuck into it, and she's happy with that. Because she wanted to teach Sons of Shimmer a lesson. And I wasn't at all happy with that. Because that's just making her weakness get more worse. Because she was happy now. She has friends, everyone giving her a second chance, and, well, she's just happy now. And that's just, that's getting me very sick and tired of the way everyone's been treating her. But I'm not okay with this. I was okay with Octavia because, well, I don't know. Just I'm just happy with it because she just appeared in The Quest of Ghost 2 without any explanation why she did not appear in the first movie. And when Wolf was said that she was nothing like Sunset Shimmer, guess what? She was planning on taking away the six girls' memories of the entire school and breaking their friendship. That's kind of what Sunset Shimmer did in the past as the old one. So it's clear she was becoming like the old Sunset Shimmer. Honestly. And that's the reason why I hate her as well. I just wish that special never existed, and I wish Wallflower never existed either. Because I would pretty much still be a fan of the series, spin off series, but it's now done. Even after the. Especially since people are now wanting for the real finale of Quest of Girls, and for season 3. And. Since I'm no longer on the fandom, I clearly got rid of the episode ideas for Wallflower well, that's based around the fandom. No, spin-off series. Well, except for one. That's going to be more like the one and only parody episode of Crescent Goes, where we say some things that a parody of Crescent Goes, and there's this whole Wallflowers fold that I left, stuff like that. But it's going to be like the one episode where, I, where we clearly say that there'll be no more of that, because I left the fandom, and it's all Wolf Hour spot, as you can see from the picture in the video. But if I want to create some episodes where a bunch of people use magic to solve their problems and we basically stop them, I probably could be more doing it like how Midfist goes. I 
it's made for, it's basically about a group of people that clean up areas and then got struck by lightning, giving them superpowers. My mum started watching it and I just can't help but watch it as well, even though there are some inappropriate stuff in there that I do avoid watching. So if you're not a fan of that stuff, so don't watch Misfits. And if I want to do something like that, there'll be nothing related to that. Just characters, uh, well, background characters using magic, thinking that can solve their own problems, which it doesn't. But I'll just have to see if things go. So, the episode where it's going to be the one and only and finale parody episode of Aquesta Goes, basically, we'll probably come in. Hold on, I need to check what kind of. Season is in. Come on, fade biscuits. Come on, get in, get in. What season? What season? What season? Come on, come on. By the time, yeah, it's gonna be in season eight, which probably would be coming out until next year, probably, because we're still doing the episode we're on now, and the season finale. We're not sure when, but. When we do get to that season 8 episode of the one, only, and finale power the episode of Equestria Goes, I'll be sure to let you guys know on Facebook and Instagram. So, hope you enjoyed this little blog I did. I hope you understand the total reason why I left the fan. Then, I'm still a fan of My Little Pony though, and Sunshine Shimmer will always be one of my favourite characters from the show. Especially since she appeared in that background of the final song in the final episode of My Little Pony in Season 8. I mean, 9. So, hope you all understand that. Please don't judge me if you're still a fan of the spin-off series. And take care, have a good day, and goodbye.